Thank you, Tyro Fintech Hub, for hosting us this uh, weekend. We're presenting the Open Invoicing GovHack. Team of four, Steve Capel, myself, Chris Guff, Girish Patil, and Martin McCann. The problem we're solving is inefficient invoicing. 85% of the 1 billion invoices per year sent between Australian businesses are handled manually, costing around $15 each and representing a $12 billion national productivity opportunity. Also, they're worth about $4 trillion and typically paid in 60 days, locking up a further $600 billion of cash flow. Let's look at the state of the nation. 85% paper, 15% uh, electronic, usually through a hub, charging a subscription fee and a transaction fee. But actually there are many hubs with no interoperability between them, so many buyers and suppliers have to subscribe, subscribe many times, limiting the national productivity benefit. The government has recently launched an effort uh, to standardize on uh, messaging between hubs. That gives an opportunity for buyers and suppliers to subscribe to only one, further improving productivity, and by European measures, reaching about 40% uh, penetration. But we think there's a further way and a better way. If we can leverage the ABR as a service discovery layer, and if we can leverage an identity provider such as Vanguard for trusted identity, then we can exchange invoices directly without any hubs and correspondingly save a significant amount of uh, costs and increase uptake. Not only that, but if we improve the standard and uh, add uh, invoice status and record that invoice status in a blockchain, we can add all kinds of innovative services on top of that. Let's look at what we hacked. We took 11 million ABNs out of the ABR, put them into Elasticsearch, and created a mock-up of the Vanguard identity provider simulated the invoice and invoice response and recorded the responses in the Ethereum blockchain. We took the open ABR data set and mashed it up with simulated UBL semantic metadata in JSON format. This was loaded into Elasticsearch to provide access through a REST interface which we can use for dynamic endpoint discovery. This was the first of two key technologies required to implement our vision for a trustless peer-to-peer -peer invoicing protocol. The other requirement is a way to eliminate the opportunity for transport nodes to interfere with the historical transaction records. We built a REST ledgering service that journals gateway acknowledgements to the Ethereum blockchain. <coughs> this drives trust out of the gateway network, ensuring a neutral transport layer with the commodity characteristics we need to achieve the economic benefit. One example of innovation which can be built on top of this for businesses is trade financing. In this scenario, uh, we can actually turn junk status data into financial grade information. We can also provide Alice with a financial <coughs> services product in minutes as opposed to weeks, which is typical today. And finally, we can actually uh, provide a platform which will drive better competition and fair prices for financial products to smaller and medium sized businesses. This information in the presentation, the code and our documentation is available in our G GitHub site for review. Thank you.